Hi, this is Arun Gupta, and I'm here with Mike Lehman uh, at Oracle Open World Latin America uh, in the city of Sao Paulo. And uh, Mike, so we just uh, recently announced the launch of Oracle WebLogic 12C. Yeah, no, it was a great launch last week. We, so we kicked it off. We did a bunch of video broadcasts. A lot of uh, collateral came out on Oracle.com. Of course, in about, uh, I think about 40 minutes from now, I'm going to get up on stage here in Sao Paulo and talk about it. Super exciting release. Uh, it's named C for cloud. So it's all about uh, the cloud. A whole bunch of work has been done around Java E6. So it's the Java E6 release. And then there's a brand new, over 200 new features in the release around cloud area, database integration, messaging, traffic management, virtualization, super exciting release. Excellent. So this is the first time we are doing a Java E6 full platform compliance in WebLogic. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's, as you know, uh, Java E6 is hugely popular. I think at Java 1 in uh, San Francisco, we talked about over 40 million uh, SDK downloads. So it's like the developers are being swept away by it. It's really super uh, exciting. Now it's in WebLogic Server. All of the capabilities, EJB 3.1 Lite, uh, POJO, uh, CDI, Context and Dependency Injection, uh, RESTful interfaces, all of that is now built into the container. That's very nice. I mean, Java E6 itself gives you all that portability, extensibility, lightweight, and now all of that is available to the WebLogic developers as well. Yep, and we not only did uh, Java E6, there's been a huge emphasis in this release around developers. So the download for developers, the zip download is now about, it's, uh, about six times smaller than the sort of big uh, data center deployment. It's about 160 megabytes. Um, a whole bunch of work was done around Apache Maven, so a lot of our developers are building their applications uh, using a dependency management framework Maven. There's plugins built into the product. Coupled that with Java E6, we think we've got a great release for developers. Lightweight, E6 compliant, Apache Maven, and in fact, a lot more, but those are the big highlights in the E6 area. Right, to me personally, the Maven integration is very powerful because you know you can just, with simple Maven commands, you have everything integrated in your tooling environment itself. That's a, it's very interesting. The cycle we have go from zip, so we actually take the zip, unzip it, uh, provision it, provision a domain, and then you can do all your dependency management with the, with the Apache Maven. So it's a fantastic life cycle now that we've built into the product. Very cool. So WebLogic seems to be always doing something around rack integration or messaging. Tell us more about what you have done in 12C. Uh, absolutely. So uh, another, uh, there's a bunch of work that's happened around Oracle Rack. So we have something called Active Grid Link for Rack. That's a high-speed, uh, sophisticated integration in with the Oracle Rack database with the uh, WebLogic connection pool. Um, new in uh, 12C is our session affinity. So this is a capability where we can pin the uh, traffic, the JDBC traffic coming from WebLogic to a Rack node within the scope of a web session. We already had transaction affinity, which limited or uh, uh, targeted the traffic to a web uh, Rack node uh, within the scope of a transaction. This improves performance upwards of 3x over traditional app server uh, integration. There is really no other application server on the market that has this kind of integration. So it's super exciting, really powerful for our developers, really powerful for our data centers that are running rack clusters in the back end. Very nice, very nice. So now the version number is 12C. Correct. C for cloud. Yes. Tell us how cloud is changing the ecosystem and then what really 12C is offering for the developers in the cloud. Absolutely. So what's really uh, interesting with 12C and actually with 11G at WebLogic Server is of course we have met, we've uh, launched the Oracle Public Cloud. So go to cloud.oracle.com and you can sign up for uh, the public cloud and actually see WebLogic in action. There's the Java service up there. When you request a one node, two node, or four node cluster of the Java service, what you're really getting is a four node cluster of WebLogic server. What's enabling all of that infrastructure is a bunch of work that's happened around virtualization. So included in 12C is some work around Oracle Virtual Assembly Builder, which takes a multi-tier WebLogic application, provisions it up as a uh, package, a single distribution, an assembly as we call it, and lets you provision it very rapidly, do full lifecycle management around it, patch it, upgrade it, and so forth. So when you're building cloud infrastructure, it's fundamentally, we believe, there's a bunch of work that happens around what we call application-centric virtualization. We've also included another capability that's important in the cloud called Traffic Director. This does traffic routing and traffic management in sort of large-scale cloud environments, which of course you would be when you're running WebLogic in the cloud. 
So there's not only developer features, Java E6, a bunch of work around the cloud as well. Wonderful. So truly, I mean, you can get a single instance on demand, and then you can scale it vertically without any issue at all. Vertically and horizontally. So another key part of 12C is, of course, the integration of Oracle Coherence. So Coherence is our distributed caching in-memory data grid. And so what we've done in 12C is we've upgraded the embedded uh, in-memory data grid Coherence to Coherence 371. So what happens there is if you're adding capacity, you're adding load, you've brought in a new application, you're in a four-node WebLogic cluster, you're being routed to by Oracle Traffic Manager, you're talking to your Rack database with Active Grid Link for Rack, and now you need to scale it out. You can add nodes of coherence transparently into that environment. All of the management operations are built into WebLogic server of coherence. And then at the developer side, we have a full integration of the programming model. So there's annotation specific to coherence. All the logging is built into uh, WebLogic server. So a full end-to-end -end environment, cloud, developer, operations and management with WebLogic Server 12C. Well, what else you need for an enterprise application development? I think this is a perfect environment, and the bits, as I understand, are going to be available this week. Yeah, so one of the things that you'll see is, uh, of course, we're talking here at uh, Sao Paulo, and the bits will be available at the end of this week. So we're really excited about uh, folks downloading it, trying it out, giving the feedback. Of course, this is the first step of our overall 12C release across all the Fusion middleware. Everything will be built on Java E6 going forward. So super exciting, really excited to see uh, folks trying it out and downloading it. All right, thank you for being with us and thank you for listening.